What's up, guys? It's Riotium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. Uh, that's right, you guys, and oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? But first, if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. So guys, welcome back, and happy Utility Thursday. That's right, you guys, so out of all the mods you voted for on the last Utility Thursday, this is the one that won, and I'm so excited to check this one out, guys, because holy god, it looks so damn cool. But, that being said, let's get right into this guy's show. Today! Today we are up here in the snowy part of Skyrim, closer to Winterhold. Taking a look at this cave over here, it's called Shattered Ice Cave. Now this is the exact location we need to come to to start, the, uh, to start this mod, Everlight. Now Everlight is a craftable enchanted light source that never burns out. Each variant comes with unique benefits for each player, light colors, and sounds. There are 10 Everlights that you can craft all together, as well as 6 craftable maces in the same style as your Everlight. So we're right here. The marker is on the map, but it's a black marker, but it's already there, so that's a good thing. Um, and then there's Sarthal, we have Winterhold, we have Pilgrim's Trench, as well as the Tower Stone. So the closest hold you're going to want to go to is either Winterhold or Dawnstar to come over to Shattered Ice Cave. Now. As we go inside of the cave, I know it's inside of there, so we're going to go ahead and take this out and take this out. We're going to set the spell options to Silent Kill, and we're going to go ahead and walk inside of the cave. Now, be careful. There are bears around this area, as well as horkers, but I'd be more afraid of the bears. But you're looking for this cave that's marked with two of these sconces laying on the ground, and walk in. So once you're inside, there is going to be a cold flame Atronach inside of here, so you're going to want to go ahead and uh, take her out as soon as possible. There we go. Just wanted to one-shot her, because I don't have God Mode on right now, so we're just going to go ahead and kill her. There we go, and we'll just take a Frost Salt. There we go. So that is a cold flame Atronach. It's not a Frost Atronach. It's a cold flame Atronach, which is pretty cool, which is actually a spell that you can get in this mod as well. So we'll go ahead and come on down here, and we're going to open up this door. And let's see, is he here? Oh, there he is. Hello there, Nifty. <laughs> I love the fact that his name is freaking Nifty. But okay, this is what we're looking at today, guys, the Everlight. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and show you what exactly this thing looks like. So this is a torch. This is a never-ending, no-burning-out torch. And I gotta say, it makes me so happy to see a non-burning out torch because, I mean, if you're like me and you want to always use a torch in, in, you know, in darker dungeons and at nighttime, you don't want it to constantly burn out and have to get new ones. But now, now you don't have to worry about that. But let me show you what kind of ones we're working with by going into the display room and seeing what's on the wall behind you. This is what you guys have to work with. Now, those are not actually there because we have to craft all of them, but you can see the variants and the different ones that you can see. You know, you got frost, fire, more fire, more frost, uh, electricity, it looks like venom, maybe like vampire or something like that. They're crazy. Darkness right there, kind of crazy. But we're going to check that out together in today's mod showcase. So, we're down here, and one of the maces right here, the Mace of Sunlight is right here. Now, down here there's a couple things to note. You have a grindstone as well as an anvil, but you also have a spider imbuing chamber that I would imagine you have to use to make the actual Everlights. Now let's see, among the frozen pages you learn how to create an almost endless light source that also serves as a weapon. So this is each and every single recipe for each of the for each of the uh, um, the Everlights. Now the torches, all torches provide bonuses for both mages and warriors. Some variants have additional effects. So here you can see just the regular Everlight lower cost uh, lowers the cost of all spells. Everlight of fire, cold fire, embers, frost, um, storms, venom, talons, kine, as well as warding. Now, it doesn't say anything about where you're supposed to craft them, but if I had to guess, because I haven't found anything in the this thing right here, if I had to guess, you have to throw in everything inside of the Essence Extractor, as far as recipe goes, and out it will pop once you use the switch. That's kind of my, kind of my uh, assumption right now, so we're going to test this together. Yes. But inside of his inventory, he has a few things for sale. In fact, he has more than a few things for sale. He's got quite a few soul gems, dwarven bolts, probably scales with your, you know, your level. But the Everlight crafting recipes, as well as the effects and bonuses, as well as a book for Conjure Cold Flame Atronach, which is pretty cool for those of you that are Conjuration, you know, um, what is it, junkies. The spell scales on your Conjuration ability, so you can summon a potent version of this Atronach if you have the vanilla elemental potency perk. So it's just talking about the Cold Flame Atronach, not any of the, um, the Everlights. But 
Let's go ahead and take a trip to the cheat room, and we're gonna grab everything that we need as far as materials and all that stuff, and then we're gonna meet back right here, and uh, we're gonna try and craft them inside of that thing. All right, so we're back here in the uh, the Shattered Ice Cave, and I am indeed correct, because I went ahead and tried it on the Everlight of Fire, and indeed, it does work. So you dump your fire salts as well as an Everlight inside of the Spider Imbuing Chamber. You pull the little switch, and it'll say something glows within the uh, within the, the chamber. Then you just check inside the chamber, and it's sitting inside of there. Now, as you can see, the fire one conjures a flame atronach to fight for you, which is really cool. But you can also block with these bad boys, and you can also smack with these things, which is really cool. So it might even do fire damage by itself. But let's go ahead and do this together, shall we? So inside of the Essence Extractor, I have 10,000 Everlights, just because I got a little bit carried away. So we've already seen the fire one. So we can go ahead and put these fire salts inside of here. That way, I don't get them mixed up, and we can just kind of put those in there once we're done. Now, the Essence Extractor. Let's go ahead and do the Briar Heart one. And then we'll pull the switch. And something glows inside the box. Now let's see what we have. The Everlight of Venom. This one might be kind of cool. Let's see. It's going to be all in miscellaneous. So the Everlight of Venom. So check that out. Isn't that awesome? You got yourself a freaking green light. Now let's see. The, each, of, each and every single one of these has its own uh, enhancements. The Everlight of Venom. 30% chance to paralyze the target for one second. So if you smack somebody with this bad boy... You're going to probably paralyze them, which is pretty freaking cool. Because that's that's the cool part. You can also use these as a, as a weapon. But notice there is no light emission in first person. That does actually say that in the uh, mod description. So in first person, there is no light emission. Third person is where it's at. So I don't know if I'd necessarily use this one, but to each their own. Now, we'll go ahead and take out those Briar Hearts. And we'll go ahead and throw those bad boys inside of here. Just like that. Now, the Daedra Hearts. Let's see what the Daedra Hearts is. Or let's see what the Daedra Hearts do. There we go, and we'll pull the little switchy. There we go. Now let's see what we have. This is the Everlight of Kine, okay? Now we can go ahead and check this one out. And this one summons... Oh my god, okay. It's, it summons a Dramora Lord. Holy shit! That's a little bit terrifying. And I do believe this one doesn't... Oh, it does have light emission. Okay, that works. It says in the mod description that it might flicker a little bit, but that's okay. But look at that. Even this one has light emission. Pretty cool. Now I tell you what, I'm not gonna make you watch I'm not gonna make you watch me put all of the ingredients in together. I just wanted to do it for a couple of them. So I'm gonna come back with each and every single one of these, and then we'll take a look at them all together. Okay, so each and every single one of them have been made, but I want to show you the full ingredient list that you guys can check out right here. So all of these ingredients that you see is everything that you need to make each and every single one of the Everlights inside of the Spider Imbuing Chamber. So internalize that, memorize it, do whatever you want to do, write it down, take a picture of it, whatever you want. Um, but it's also in the, uh, the game, in the, uh, what is it, the recipe list. But... I think if we stop dilly-dallying, we can check this out. So, let's go ahead and check out the Everlight. We know what the Everlight looks like. Pretty cool one, just the regular one with kind of a ball of mage light. Kind of nice. Now, Cold Fire. Look at this one. Holy shit, it summons a cold Atronach. Cold Flame Atronach. Now, that's cool. That's pretty cool, because not only does... Not only can, you know, you have a light source, but you can also have um, a uh, like a Cold Flame Atronach with you, too. Pretty cool. Lights up the area very nicely. Now, the Everlight of Embers. What does this one do, if anything? So, the Everlight of Embers, if it doesn't have something that pops out, I'll go ahead and read what it does. In fact, I'll do that anyways. So, the Irregular Everlight lowers the cost of all spells and power attacks with one-handed weapons by 20%. This effect applies to all over other torches as well. That's kind of cool. Now, the Everlight of Embers, uh, when in combat, mantles the wielder in a flame cloak. Pretty damn cool, huh? Now, that Cold Fire one summons a Cold Flame Atronach to at the wielder's side. Now the fire one summons a flame Atronach to fight at the wielder's side. Pretty cool. Now the frost one, when in combat, mantles the wielder in frost cloak. That's pretty damn cool. So you can have a weapon in one hand, this thing in the other hand, a light source with that thing, as well as a frost cloak on without even having to expend any magicka. Pretty damn cool. And then we have this one of storms, which, when in combat, mantles the wielder in a wielder in lightning cloak. Very cool. So basically the fire, or let's see, the embers, um, frost, and storms are all the same. They just do the different elements, which is really cool. Not to mention the, the freaking torch just looks so cool. 
And then we have Talons. One-handed attacks are 50% stronger. Let that sink in for a second. If I smack somebody with this damn sword... If I smack somebody with this damn sword while I'm holding this thing, I'm gonna do 50% more damage with this thing. Not to mention, the effect that applies to all other torches is lowers the cost of all spells and power attacks with one-handed weapons by 20%, which means you're gonna expend less stamina and do even more damage. That's insanity. <laughs> Such a good deal, holy cow. Now let's see, we also have Venom. So a Venom is the 30% chance to paralyze someone. Which is pretty cool. Now, whether or not it's with hitting them with that thing, or if it's hitting them with a one-handed sword, I'm not sure, but kind of cool. Then we have Warding. You take 30% less damage from both physical and magical attacks. So if you got this one in your hands, you're going to take far less damage than you would if it wasn't in your hands. Which is pretty cool. Not to mention it changes, you know, the light color and stuff like that. It just looks so cool. And then finally, we have the Ever the Everlight of Kine, which summons a Dramora Lord, which is insane. That is absolutely just insane. Dramora Lord to fight for the Wilder's yes. side. Now, it's not looking like he has a, you know, a duration. You know how normally in a Conjuration spell, they have durations. But it doesn't really look like they have durations just until you put it away. Because if I were to unequip it, there he goes. So maybe if he dies, it just resummons him. Or he can just take it out and, you know, summon another one. But overall, I think this is one of the coolest mods ever. Because it adds something to the game where... You know, you don't have to worry about always having to find a torch. This way, you have torches with you that emit light sources, but are even better than the regular torches. So guys, I very much hope you enjoyed today's little mod showcase. And guys, if you did, make sure you let me know down there in the comments section. And guys, I will see you in the next video.